Welcome to Live Lean TV. I'm Brad Gasper from LiveLeanTV.com. So guys, on today's episode, I'm talking about how to work out smarter and why your workouts probably are failing you. So in particular, I'm breaking down how in our Live Lean programs, we program the following workout variables based on your goals. So rep ranges, number of sets, how much weight you should lift, rest periods, tempo and training style. So if you want to go directly to that portion of the video, here's a timestamp. But first, just let me share a personal story of my fitness journey. So I used to be terrified of just the thought of going to the gym. Then in 1999, I finally had the courage to go to my college gym for the very first time. Yes, I'm that old. So my first workout only lasted about 20 minutes as I had no clue what I was doing and I was super intimidated. So over the next four years, I randomly showed up at the gym when I felt like it, but I just never made any progress. So let's fast forward to 2003. I paid for my first gym membership and again, I showed up when I wanted, did whatever exercises I felt like and definitely didn't have any plan when it came to my nutrition. So from 2003 to 2009, even though I consistently went to the gym, I didn't get the kind of results that you would expect from seven years of consistent training. Again, I had no plan, I did whatever I wanted in the gym, and I was not accountable to anyone. So I basically followed random workouts found in my monthly subscription to Men's Health Magazine, and then I just hit a wall. I felt like I was working hard, but I never knew how to work out smart. So in 2009, I finally invested in my first paid workout program that was designed for my goals. So not only was I excited to try something new, I was also 100% committed as I had my hard earned money on the line. And that's when I first learned about the power of following a structured plan. This opened my eyes to the importance of how to work out smarter, not harder. And that's how I've been able to consistently train for the last nine years without ever getting a serious injury and without ever falling off the live lean wagon. I follow a structured workout program to keep me accountable. But guys, not all workout programs are created equal. So that's why on today's episode, I want to share the most important training variables that we implement into our live lean programs to ensure that you accomplish your specific goals. So for example, if you're training for fat loss, the training variables that you should be using in your workout are different than if you're looking to build muscle. Or if you're training for strength, you should be using different training variables than if you're training for endurance. Your goals should dictate the way these training variables are designed in your workout program. So let's break down what the thought process is of what goes into designing a workout program based on your goals. So let's start off with number of reps per exercise. So the number of repetitions you complete for the given exercise is dependent on your goals. So for example, if your goal is strength, try a rep range of one to seven. If your goal is muscle building, a rep range of eight to 12 may be better. Or if your goal is endurance, a rep range of 15 to 20 may be better. Next up is the number of sets per exercise. So the lower the rep range, the higher the sets you should complete. So for example, if your goal is strength, five to 10 sets because the reps are lower. If your goal is muscle building, typically three to four sets. And if your goal is endurance, two to four sets. Next up in the program is intensity. So in other words, the load or the amount of weight that you should be lifting. So the higher the intensity, the heavier the weight. So if your goal is strength, you guessed it, a higher intensity, a heavier weight. If your goal is muscle building, you'd want to be in that medium intensity weight range. And if your goal is endurance, lower intensity, meaning lighter weight. So next up is your rest periods. Again, the higher the intensity, the longer your rest period. So if your goal is strength, typically a two to four minute rest in between sets can help. If your goal is muscle building, a 45 to 60 second rest, or if your goal is endurance, a 10 to 30 second rest. Now let's talk about tempo. Tempo is something that we include in all of our programs, but a lot of people don't know what it is. Tempo refers to the time it takes for you to complete one rep of the exercise. So the tempo is broken down into four numbers. For example, you may see in a Live Lean program that it's three, zero, one, one. The first number refers to the eccentric portion of the rep. Now the eccentric portion is the lengthening of 
the muscle. So for example, with a barbell curl, the eccentric portion of the lift is when you lower the weight as the bicep lengthens. So in this 3011 tempo example, it would mean lowering the weight for a three second count. The second number refers to the hold or the pause at the bottom of the rep. So for example, with a barbell curl, this is the time spent with your arms extended at the bottom of the curl. So in this 3011 tempo example, it would mean there is no pause at the bottom of the rep. The third number refers to the concentric portion of the rep. So the concentric portion is the shortening of the muscle. So with the barbell curl, the concentric portion of the lift is when you lift the weight up as the bicep shortens. For this 3011 tempo, it would mean lifting the weight for a one second count. And then finally, the fourth number refers to the hold or the pause at the top of the rep. So with a barbell curl, this is the time spent with your arms curled at the top of the curl. So in this 3011 tempo example, it would be a one second squeeze at the top of the curl. So sometimes you'll see a tempo with the letter X. Now this refers to explosive power, which is often used in our strength building workouts. So with a muscle building goal, guys, the time under tension or the tempo is increased. For endurance, the time under tension in the tempo is decreased so you can complete more reps. Now this leads us to another factor in our programs, the training styles. So now that we covered the basic training variables of what you should find in your workout program, let's talk about the unique training styles that we use in our Live Lean programs. So most of you are probably familiar with traditional straight sets where you complete a certain number of reps, then you rest, then you complete another set of the same exercise for a specific number of sets. Now, this can be an effective training style. However, after a while, it can also get boring. And as you know, boredom often leads to people not completing their workouts and falling off the wagon. So that's why in our Live Lean programs, we use different training styles to keep your workouts fresh, fun, and challenging. So these training styles can include rackless sets. So this is a training style used when completing a compound lift like squats, or deadlifts or the bench press. So the idea is to select a weight that is like 50 to 65% of your one rep max. This simply means if you could only lift 100 pounds for one rep, that would be your one rep max. So for this example, select a weight that is 50 to 65% of your one rep max, that would be about 50 to 65 pounds. So during a rackless set, you lift the weight until you hit failure, but instead of re-racking the weight, you would hold it in place at the lift starting position until you get enough strength back to complete a few more reps before hitting failure. So you would do this until you can no longer do a single rep. That would equal one set. So you could try to complete four to five of these rackless sets. Another training style is called bomb sets. Now to perform a bomb set, you would complete a compound move to failure, then immediately complete an isolation exercise that targets the same muscle group. So an example of this would be completing a barbell squat, then moving directly into an isolation exercise that also targets the quadriceps, like the leg extension machine, until you hit failure. Another training style that we love are supersets. Now supersets allow you to do more work in less time. So by working two opposing muscle groups right after another, you'll be able to burn more calories, boost your metabolism, boost your cardio, and also increase the release of muscle building hormones in a shorter period of time. So supersets can be done in two different ways. You can target the same muscle group with two back-to-back -back exercises with little rest, or you can target the opposing muscle group, for example, a bicep curl combined with a tricep extension. So I usually recommend the majority of your supersets work opposing muscle groups as it is much easier on your joints. Another training style that we love, especially for fat loss, is full body circuit training. So you select four exercises that each target a different muscle group. You complete each exercise for the given reps in your program, then you take a quick break and move directly into the next exercise within that circuit. So your goal is to alternate each exercise within the circuit until all sets have been completed. Another training style is called descending pyramid training. So descending pyramid training is a fun way to freshen up your training and are great for unilateral exercises. So unilateral exercises means working one arm or one leg at a time. So for symmetrical muscle groups, if you notice one side of the muscle, so like your pecs, one side of your pecs is getting bigger than the other, unilateral exercises may be what you need. So these are mainly done using dumbbells or kettlebells. So for example, rather than doing a barbell shoulder press, you would complete a single arm dumbbell shoulder press using just one dumbbell
dumbbell at a time. So for a descending pyramid scheme, you would start with using your right arm and press it up five times. Then you'd follow this up by pressing up your left arm five times. Then you'd move directly into four reps with your right arm, and then you'd complete four more reps with your left arm and repeat this for three, two, and one rep. This means your one limb is working while the other would be in its built-in rest period. So once you hit your rep count for each arm or leg, you're done the set. So guys, these are just a few of the training styles, but our Live Lean programs also include many other training styles, including tri-set workouts, complex workouts, metabolism boosting ignited ups, as well as four minute workout finishers. So can you see how using different training styles can freshen up and make your workouts more interesting? It's really one of the keys to making this a consistent lifestyle. And if you're not getting the results that you want with your workouts, your workouts are probably failing you. So guys, if you're ready to transform your body, but you're unsure of which Live Lean program is best for you, based on your goals, your fitness level, and your access to equipment, I highly recommend you go take our quick Live Lean Body Quiz. Within just a few minutes, guys, you'll find the best program to teach you how to work out smarter, including nutrition planning, so you can accomplish your goals faster. So I'll put a clickable link in the video description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and keep living lean. Oh, no.